Karen and Thomas, back over to you. Thanks, Bob. All right, so let's talk about it with the eclipse almost upon us right now. You've probably heard it a million times already that we know as humans we're not supposed to look up and look at the sun directly without these glasses on. So we got to remind you, retina specialist Dr. Sunir Garg from Will's Eye Center joining us. Good to see you. Thank you. It's an exciting day, but I'm sure a nerve-wracking day for eye specialists. Yeah, it can be. I mean, it's really an amazing opportunity for us to be able to see the eclipse today. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. But protecting your eyes while you're looking at it really is very important. And we're talking about a couple of seconds here. I mean, a lot of people thinking, I'm not going to look at the, you know, sun that long, but it really doesn't take that much time to damage your eyes. Yeah, correct. The sun, of course, has a lot of heat in its rays. And when those heat rays get focused on the back of the eye called the macula, that heat can cause functionally a damage to the center of the vision. And some of that damage can be permanent. So what do we do? We know the kids are going to be getting out of school. Some schools got the kids' glasses. Some did not. And the... You know, what do we tell our kids so that they're, I mean, it's hard to tell your children don't look up because you know they're going to do it. So what do we do? So you try to get your glasses, which are great. Hopefully most people have them by now. And if they don't have a chance to have picked them up yet, there's a lot of viewing parties. The Franklin Institute has one. The zoo has one. A bunch of local libraries have them. When you put the glasses on, you want to wear them and then start looking up at the sun. When I'm wearing my glasses, they're so bright that I can basically just barely make out the lights in the studio. That's what I'm looking for. But when we look at the sun with them, we can actually see an amazing show better than we can with the naked eye. And it's okay you're wearing glasses, because a lot of people wear contacts or glasses. It's okay to keep those on along with the additional eyewear. Yeah, just okay. put them right on top of whatever corrective lenses you normally wear. We saw an image not too long ago. It was of uh, a retina in a damaged retina. What exactly does the retina do in the eye? Is that what magnifies your vision? So if the eye is like a camera, the front of the eye has the lens. The back of the eye has the film or the sensor. That's the retina. The center part of the retina gets a special name called the macula, and that's the part of the eye that lets us read, see, qualify for a driver's license, and that then sends light impulses to the brain through the optic nerve. So when the center part of the macula gets damaged by heat rays or from other things like macular degeneration, people's central vision can get damaged as a result. So you could be left with, what could be the effects? Blurry vision? Like, what could happen if you do that? What would the damage be? So immediately afterwards, if somebody looks up for two seconds at the sun, they might just be able to blink hard and see a little spot in their vision. Mm -hmm. But many times that goes away over the next day or two. Okay. But beyond a day or two, if people have changes, a lot of times they'll say, you know, I have trouble seeing threes and eights and zeros. Straight lines start getting crooked. When I'm reading my bills or some of my text messages, it's hard for me to make out what's going on. I have to kind of move things around, hunt and peck. And once that damage occurs, many times it does not go away. Mm, that's scary. And sunglasses are not enough because a lot of people think, I got sunglasses on, those are protective. Yeah, definitely not enough. You know, what's different about the eclipse compared to regular sun viewing is the sun is usually so bright that we don't want to look at it because it hurts. But when the sun is 90% occluded like it will be today, mm -hmm. it's easier to look at it for longer. And we have a desire to look at it for longer because we want to see the eclipse. And that's a setup for potential damage. And once again, that small exposure, sometimes it will heal, it, heal itself. But once you have damage, I mean, it's permanent. That's permanent There's a solution damage. for it. Correct. All right. And there's other ways to view it. If you don't have the glasses, and we'll do segments on it coming up a little bit, they can do those like little like things you make out of cardboard, or things to look at it reverse. There's a lot of other ways to do it. So we'll let you know in case you didn't get the glasses, too. Yeah, there you can use a spaghetti colander as another way of looking at holes. It's not as fun as looking up, but it's the same idea as the box. You have small holes, the light passes in. If you hold it just off the ground, you yeah. can actually see the eclipse move across the ground, which is pretty cool, but not as cool yeah. as looking Don't at it. Don't use it to actually yes. look at it. Like I'll, just, I'll get my little Down. spaghetti strainer and I'll look up. No, it's Down. let the, the, that, the That's sun a great go tip. Through. I love that because we all have it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's definitely not good for a helmet either. <laughs> Doctor, yeah, well, I'll keep that in mind. Dr. Senior Guard, great, great to have you with us this morning. All right, let's get back out to Mike.